Today it's American snacks versus British snacks. Today we're gonna start with the Walkers, glorious cheese and onion versus a sour cream onion. Good old America versus the Walkers, good old British. Now we got all of this stuff from the British Corner Shop. It's a badass online British grocery store. Check it out. This is the American. This is the British. Again, the audio is terrible. I'm sorry. So our mic ended up breaking. I didn't realize at the time. I just ordered a new one. Next episode, that audio is going to be phenomenal. I promise. The British smells a billion times better. Oh, yeah. You can smell it. It's a strong smell. It makes the American one smell like nothing. We should actually... Give it a taste. They're, they're kind of like the baked ones, you know? I like the, the walkers so much more. When you eat the walkers one first, it almost tastes the oil on top of the sour cream and onion. You don't get that flavor with the walkers when you go back and forth. 100% agree. Yeah, okay. yeah. The Lay's, the minute you eat it, it's a coating of oil in your mouth. This one feels like it'll make you less heavy. British one wins on this round. Definitely. We'll okay, do the next one. Skittles versus the British Skittles. For the British Skittles, they're actually squishy. And they look adorable. It says they're new. And then we got the regular Skittles. These look way different. Like, oh, those are cool. What I was expecting. This does not look anything like the gummy no. Skittles from America. It's almost like a fluff. Ooh, it they're, smells they're, super it's, good. It's almost like a marshmallow texture. Yeah, I smell them, dude. Mm. It's like you're oh, opening a whole strong. bag, but in your nose. It's like a different fragrance. All right, let's try it. Let's do the American first. I don't have an American one. You left me out. Jeez, what am I, a peasant? <laughs> good American mind, Skittles good. I love Yeah, good mind. I would love Skittles. Uh -huh. Isn't there a thing saying that like Skittles really don't have flavor? Yeah, I told you that. They, they're not flavored. Did you not know that? No, is it They're just They're like not a flavored. They put a smell on it. It's it just scent. Smell it. It's the scent. Where are you getting your facts? Why do they, do they not smell different? <laughs> no, they do, but <laughs> oh, I swear they taste different too. You're like, where are you getting all these bullshit facts from all day? Like, were you researching candy or yeah. something? No. I just watch a lot of Facebook and YouTube videos and I get <laughs> weird shit made? that comes up. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a fact though. It's a full on fact. Wow. Is that true? It, I, it, I think so. I just so. tasted the lime flavor. Right I know. I, it's true that the American Skittles cause cancer. The Ooh. American Skittles way better. I really don't I like that. that. I really don't like that. I think these are fire. I don't like those. Really? Yeah. yeah not into good. it. Too, the consistency is like so marshmallowy, but gummy once you actually hit it. Yeah, it's not good. It's like weird. I personally would pick British because you know I love you guys. You're the you're gonna be the tiebreaker. So American. All right, America wins this round. Let's do the next. American one. versus British cheese puffs. We got M and S. That seems like a popular brand out there versus regular Cheeto puffs. Jason, me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To the left. yeah, mine does bend like that too. It's real. <laughs> this one, little one, has way more fragrance. Are we like not on the same page? Because to me, it smells more like a doggy snack. It does. You do you it does. smell it too, right? It smells like Chai's treats. It smells like Chi-Chi's treats. <laughs> All right, let's start with the Cheeto. Oh, really? I start with the British one. It's good. Mm. Ooh, the fluff in that though. Oh, that was good. No, they're equally good, man. Yeah, the flavor on that's great. They are very similar. Honestly, if you're wearing blindfold, I don't think I would be able to tell the difference. I don't think so either. I don't like how this like sticks in your teeth, so I've always just avoided this. British sticks wins. up in your teeth, yeah, 100%. British Fanta versus American Fanta. Look at the color difference. Difference. This one's orange. Like I'm looking at this British Fanta and it's making me like thirsty. Mm -hmm. Smell that. That smells like orange juice. Mm, this one's way better. This one is literally water, sugar, orange juice. What is that one? High corn oh. fructose syrup is the second ingredient. There's not even orange juice in this. Can I taste so, that Fanta? <laughs> look at that. It's insane. Well, let's do this one first so we can wash our mouths down with that. That's right. It reminds me of like Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, that is so yeah, much way better. better. This is actually good. Ew. I just tied it. Yeah. This is not gross. That's it's way refreshing. Better. British all freaking day, all the way. Next British up Galaxy. is the British Galaxy versus the American Dove. I couldn't find anything called Galaxy, but I assume these are the same company because of the logo. Oh, that's pretty smart. The branding, they look very yeah. similar, so I assume like Dove is like the, the you know, d d d d d parent company or up, whatever. Up. God, it's so hard not to beat you. <laughs> Get some of that. Just joke. kidding. When we got this package, it was in the heat. It, we're in Utah, it's super hot right now, and it was there like all day. So. so here's the difference. Yeah, they look different. They feel different. This one kind of breaks a little bit easier. I have a feeling this one's gonna taste way better. It reminds me of like the flake. It melts mm. in your mouth. It's so. extremely airy. Man, honestly, I don't like, I like the Dove more. I like the Galaxy. Me too. We're not on the same page today, Jenny. We should just get divorced. <laughs> You heard it first. To me, I could go either way. Uh -huh. Yeah. So are we gonna give it to the Brits? Yeah. Let's give it to the Brits. Giving it to the Brits. Next snack. British Doritos versus the Don 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 American Doritos. Chili heat.
heat wave flavor against nacho cheese. Take a big whiff of that. Wow. <laughs> Those smell very much like corn. Yeah. Those smell fire. Smells like freaking chili. No. The British one's a little thinner. Yeah, the, the, it's like that baked. It's, it's a little bit of a thinner. Yeah, I like the theme of the chips. Yeah. Like, wow, look like my first regular Dorito I've had in forever. Me too. Extremely yeah. average. Got a lot of flavor. I've always kind of remembered it as being less flavorful though. Me too, when we were kids. That's because we drank out of a hose and probably had stuffed <laughs> noses and shit. <laughs> yeah. Well. All right, cheers. Oh my god, that is a billion times better. Yeah, the flavor on these. I bet is. you there is natural flavor. Natural and artificial flavor. And artificial. American, all artificial. This one, no flavoring. Corn, rapeseed oil, chili heat wave flavoring, which it Are is. Are you 12? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, no one's gonna wanna sponsor me again after this. <laughs> I don't know, British all day. <laughs> yeah, British wins on this one. Before we continue, I just want to ask you to hit that subscribe button. We do videos every single week, so turn on your notification bell. I don't want you to miss a video. And again, we got all this stuff at British Corner Shop. I'm going to put a link in the description. Go check them out. What do we got next? What do we got? We got Starburst from Walmart. We do versus... The British Starburst from the British place. <laughs> <laughs> These are both original, right? But they pick completely different flavors. They switched the cherry for black currant. The British one is much softer. I'm squeezing the same string. The Americans, a lot harder. America, cherries. Are your um, mics still on and good? Yeah. Yeah. Like you didn't have to rub it in, B. Cheers. Dink. Just black cream. I don't really like this one. Yeah, there's something different about these. It's kind of like perfumey. No way. Can I get a different flavor? Yeah, I'm trying a different flavor. That's what I'm going to Let's do orange. It, they it, use it. artificial coloring for the dark orange. Just joking. Oh. Because, like, you know, it's just like the Fantas. I just think <laughs> you're not funny. I know. She tries. You'll get there eventually. They look different. The color is even different. Again, it's just like the Fanta, actually, like you were saying. One's dark, one's light. Is that what your joke was? But that's true. That's crazy. My, I'm like my dad. You know, Once like again. he tries to be funny, but it's not funny. Yeah. It's literally me. I'm going to clip this and send it to your dad. Bruh. You're not like funny, super... Rex. <laughs> Sorry. Once again, the British ones are super perfuming. Right. Fine, guys. You guys keep ganging up on me. What? America wins? America wins this one. I pick Brits. It's up to you, B. America. You guys suck. <laughs> American Musketeer versus British Milky Way. British Milky Way against Musketeer because the American Milky Way has the caramel and stuff, which is like the Mars, which will be coming up shortly. Oh, I instantly just like the British one so much more. Oh, look at the feel the weight. I don't really like either of them that much. I like the British one more. It's yeah. lighter. Uh huh. Lay salt and vinegar versus the Walker's salt and vinegar. Better not make the transition over to the Walker's one because salt and vinegar chips on the shit. Wow, the American one's stronger. <laughs> I mean, these look almost identical. Enjoy. These look exactly the same. Yeah. Which one are we starting with first? American? Sure. Yeah, of all chips, these are like yeah, they're good. refreshing. Did you say they're refreshing? It's a hard one. So similar. It's the same brand. The British people are going to hate me for you saying that. I am going to give it to the American one. Yeah. We have the Milky Way versus the British Mars. Here we go, guys. Again, you know why we did it this way. I don't remember these American bars being so big. Wow, these look almost identical. I'm gonna go hungover tomorrow from all this food. I'm Man, when eat. it comes down to chocolates, I think the British just nail it. It's lighter, airier. The caramel's not an inch thick that you have to chew through. I think the British is better. Yeah, British is definitely better. Next up, it's the Piercy Pig versus the American Lunchable Gummies. I've never seen these before. <laughs> yeah. Neither Either of them? No, well, I mean, it's damn lunchable. That's kind of cute, though. That's what I said. It's disgusting, though. It's like literally the first thing is like glucose here. Oh, I'm sure. It even comes in the little lunchable pack. I have like an increased heart rate right now from all the shit that I just ate. I'm like, I feel. <sighs> yeah, that's because you saw me. <laughs> oh, we got sharp cheddar and white cheese. Damn, that's thick as Look at that. <laughs> Looks like those little SpongeBob things. Yeah, it's cute, huh? And then let's look at the Piercy Pig. And this is cute, too. It's a little piggy. Piggly, pig, pig, <laughs> Jesus, I can't talk. It's a, pig, it's a piglet. <laughs> and Jason hates things that are hard to chew. <laughs> it's like rubber in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you should swallow that. It just feels like there's a little man like playing with your tonsil. <laughs> I feel like your stomach right? wouldn't like digest yeah. that. Now that you look like through the center of it, man, 
They low key taste fire though. Got the piglet next. I think the crackers were the best part. This is more of that Skittles texture. Yeah, this a little is more, more cloudy. Marshmallow. I think they both suck. Well, the, the piglet's the, probably healthier. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the British. I'm gonna go with British too. Next up is the red Fanta versus the other red Fanta. Fruit twist versus strawberry. Again, look at the difference in color. The American one is just this like extremely high contrast. That one looks more like a fruit juice. It has that like watery smell to it, like the other one too. <laughs> Laughing at. I just thought about like if your mites die, all you're gonna have. You chewing the whole time? <laughs> Here's the difference. American British. Oh my god, that strawberry just smells Ow. like straight artificial shit. This smells so good though. It's, the British, the one. British one smells good again. So good. I need to start with the American cheers. Way too artificial for me. Almost like the medicine. Mm -hmm. I want like cherry flavor. Oh my god, that's actually good. I didn't think I was gonna like this, but it's really good. It's almost like a snapple. I'm going with this one all the way. Man, British Fanta is just milestones. Leaks, dude. Yeah, Leaks way it. better than the American Fanta. Next up, it's British versus American M&Ms. Here are the American M&Ms. Here are the British M&Ms. Well, they're the bigger. They're the same damn size. British American. I can't imagine these tasting any different. They look identical. I think the coating on the British ones is thinner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the British m and is better. Last up is the Lay's and the Walker's Lay's. <laughs> Okay, so Walkers Against Lay's Classic. A subscriber told me these are called Ready Salted because originally they were just the chip and no then they come with a packet and you have to salt them yourself. They taste like the same. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to check out the British Corner Shop and remember, stay boozy. Let's get boozy.